Raise your hand if you've ever found yourself suddenly penniless just a few days after payday. Ah, the struggles of the wallet are real, aren't they? If you're nodding your head right now, know that you're not alone. Many of us have experienced that sinking feeling when we realize we're out of cash, with days or even weeks left until our next paycheck. The stress of living paycheck to paycheck is a burden we all know too well. It's like trying to run a marathon with a backpack filled with rocks. You're constantly worrying about making ends meet, never mind saving for that dream vacation or even just a rainy day. But imagine what life would be like if you had a financial cushion to fall back on. Imagine not having to stress every time an unexpected expense comes up. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't have to be. This is where a money-saving plan comes into play. It's like a personalized roadmap that guides you towards your financial goals. It doesn't matter if you're saving for a down payment on a house, a new car, or just want to have some money set aside for emergencies. A money-saving plan can help you get there. But what exactly is a money-saving plan? Picture this. It's a step-by-step -step guide that helps you keep track of your income and expenses, identifies areas where you can save, and helps you set and achieve your financial goals. It's like your personal financial GPS, always keeping you on the right track. And the benefits? Oh, they are many. For starters, a money-saving plan promotes financial awareness. It reduces stress by providing a clear path towards your goals. And let's not forget it's incredibly satisfying to see your savings grow and know that you're working towards something meaningful. So, if you're tired of watching your money disappear into the abyss, stay tuned for the roadmap to financial success. Because in the next few minutes, we're going to dive deeper into what a money-saving plan is, how to create one, and how to stick to it. So buckle up folks, it's time to take control of your finances and pave the way to a more secure future. Alright, get your pencils ready, we're diving into the blueprint of a money-saving plan. You may be asking, what exactly is a money-saving plan? Well, think of it as your personalized roadmap to achieving financial goals. It's not just about stashing away every spare penny, but rather it's a thoughtful and strategic approach to putting your money to work for you. A money-saving plan helps you become more financially aware. You start to understand where your money is going, what you're saving for, and how to make your money work harder for you. And the best part? It reduces stress. Yes, you heard that right. No more sleepless nights worrying about bills or unexpected expenses. With a solid plan, you're in control. But it doesn't stop there. A money-saving plan is also about goal achievement. To buy a house, plan a dream vacation, retire early, your money-saving plan is your stepping stone to these financial milestones. Now let's talk its growing importance. In today's fast-paced economy, personal financial planning is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. With costs spiraling and incomes fluctuating, having a money-saving plan helps you navigate these unpredictable waters' confidence. So a money-saving plan isn't just a fancy term, it's your ticket to a stress-free financial life. So are you ready to start your journey to financial freedom? Let's get started. And remember, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and tricks. Let's get down to the nitty gritty of creating our money saving plan. Now, the first thing you need to do is set some smart goals. You heard me smart, that's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. For instance, instead of saying, I want to save money, try something more specific like, I want to save $5,000 for an emergency fund in six months. See the difference? It's like setting a destination in your financial GPS. Next up, you've got to start tracking your income and expenses. Imagine you're a detective on the trail of your own money. Where does it come from? Where does it go? Is it sneaking off for midnight snacks? There are plenty of tools you can use for this, from mobile apps that sync with your bank account to good old-fashioned spreadsheets or notebooks, whatever floats your boat. And yes, there are apps that can actually make this fun. Who knew? Now this brings us to the crucial part. Once you've tracked your income and expenses, you need to analyze your spending habits. This is like being your own financial therapist. You need to understand your money mindset and identify areas where you can save. Do you have a coffee shop habit that's costing you more than you realized? Or perhaps you're paying for subscriptions you no longer use? It's time to make some tough decisions, my friends. Remember, every dollar saved is a step closer to your financial goals. So don't be afraid to scrutinize your spending and ask yourself if it's really necessary. And remember, it's not about depriving yourself of everything you love. It's about finding a balance between living for today and saving for tomorrow. Alright, we've covered a lot of ground here but don't feel overwhelmed. Just like any big project, a money-saving plan is best tackled one step at a time. 
Start by setting your SMART goals, then move on to tracking your income and expenses. Once you've got a handle on that, you can start identifying areas for saving. And remember, this isn't a one-and-done deal. You'll need to review and adjust your plan regularly to keep it on track. So, are you ready to become a master of your money? Great, let's do this. Remember, the first step to saving is knowing where your money is going. So get tracking. Alright, it's time to put our plan into action. Buckle up. Now that we've set our SMART goals and tracked our income and expenses, it's time for the real fun to begin. We're going to dive headfirst into the world of saving strategies. It's like a treasure hunt, but instead of a pirate's chest filled with gold, the treasure is your own financial independence. First things first, we need to calculate our total savings need within our defined time frame. This might sound like a daunting task, but don't worry, we've got this. Let's say you're aiming to save $5,000 for an emergency fund in six months. Break it down to a monthly or even weekly amount. This will make the goal seem less intimidating and more achievable. It's like eating an elephant one bite at a time. Next, let's explore the different saving strategies at our disposal. We have high yield savings accounts, individual retirement accounts or IRAs and money market accounts. Each of these has its own merits and can be a powerful tool in your savings arsenal. High yield savings accounts are like your regular savings accounts more successful older sibling. They offer a higher interest rate which means your money works harder for you. IRAs on the other hand are your ticket to a stress-free retirement. They offer tax advantages that can significantly boost your savings in the long run. And finally, money market accounts. They're a hybrid of a savings and checking account, offering both a decent interest rate and the flexibility to access your funds. Pick and choose the right tool based on your goals and timelines. Now here's a bonus tip to make saving a breeze. Consider setting up automated transfers to your savings account. This way, you're saving without even thinking about it. It's like having a personal assistant who takes care of your savings while you're busy living your life. It also ensures that you're consistent in your savings habit. After all, consistency is key when it comes to achieving our financial goals. But remember, your money-saving plan is not set in stone. It's a living, breathing entity that needs to adapt to your changing circumstances. Regularly review your plan and make necessary adjustments. Maybe you got a raise at work, or perhaps you had an unexpected expense. Take these changes into account and tweak your plan accordingly. After all, flexibility is key in the face of life's many curveballs. So, there you have it. We've calculated our total savings need, explored various savings strategies, and even learned about automated transfers. We've also emphasized the importance of regularly reviewing and adapting our plan. It's like we've just run a financial marathon, and guess what? We've crossed the finish line in style. With these strategies in your arsenal, you're well on your way to achieving your financial goals. And remember, every financial journey is unique. So take these tips and tailor them to suit your individual needs. Happy saving! Let's take a quick jog down memory lane. We've spent a good chunk of time today discussing the art of creating a money-saving plan. We've learned how to set smart goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. We've explored the world of tracking income and expenses, using everything from apps to good old-fashioned notebooks. We've delved into identifying areas for saving by analyzing those pesky spending habits. We've tackled the math of calculating your total savings need within a defined time frame. And we've ventured into the realm of savings strategies like high-yield accounts, IRAs, and money markets. We've even thrown in a bonus tip about automated transfers to make saving a breeze. And let's not forget the importance of regularly reviewing and adapting your plan as needed. Now it's your turn to put these tips into action. Share your experiences and challenges in the comments below. Remember the journey to financial freedom starts with the first. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our financial advice and strategies. Join us on this journey to financial freedom.